सो वेलकम टू द सिक्स चैप्टर ऑफ द सोशल नेटवर्क एनालिसिस कोर्स एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू ऑल टू यू नो फिनिश द हाफ ऑफ दिस कोर्स सो वी हैव एक्चुअली फिनिश फाइव चैप्टर्स राइट एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू द सिक्स चैप्टर सो यू नो बाई नाउ वी हैव अंडरस्टूड कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक लिंक एनालिसिस कम्युनिटी डिटेक्शन राइट नेटवर्क ग्रोथ मॉडल and uh, uh, you know different type, types of measures that we generally use for uh, link uh, measurement node node measurement prestige importance right, and so on and so forth so so this is basically the beginning of uh, a, a a new uh, category of chapters that we are going to discuss more of an application kind of you know uh, aspects of social network analysis and the first application that i mean everybody talks about when it comes to graph analysis graph mining is link prediction okay so so we will discuss in this chapter we will discuss uh, what do we mean by link prediction we will formally define the link prediction problem and this is a very very well studied problem so if you look at the literature there are thousands of papers on link prediction we will uh, try to understand um, you know Uh, applications where where link prediction algorithms can be used and then we will look at uh, algorithms for link prediction simple algorithms most of the heuristic based algorithms will discuss and then we'll go into the deeper of you know deeper discussion of uh, link prediction algorithms we'll discuss uh, you know uh, uh, cases where we use machine learning algorithms uh, a, a bit heuristics plus machine learning models in a kind of a hybrid setting and so on okay so let's get started now what is link prediction as the name suggest in fact i use the term link prediction i think multiple times in the last few chapters so you you must have already understood the essence of link prediction but nevertheless let us formally define what is link prediction right so link prediction is a problem of predicting the existence of a link between two entities in a network right Uh, we basically try to predict whether these two nodes a given set of nodes a given pair of nodes are connected or not uh, through links through a particular link right so it basically involves uh, research uh, you know research communities ranging from statistics and network science and machine learning and data mining you know uh, domains to work together to come up with solutions for link prediction and and the applications right so broadly if you look at applications it 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 can be used in social network analysis in in online social network analysis in general it can be used in e-commerce um, you know platforms uh, some sort of uh, law enforcement and surveillance uh, pr perspective as well um, bioscience biological networks uh, network reconstruction citation network and so on so in online social network link prediction can be used for uh, friend recommendation right for example in case of facebook uh, essentially when you recommend a friend right when facebook recommends you a friend facebook basically predicts that you and that friend is uh, so you and that friend are going to be connected in future right and facebook always tries to recommend you with friends which are highly likely to be uh, i mean recommends you with users who are highly likely to be your friend right so uh, false positive i mean facebook always tries to increase false positive right in on in, in again in online social network um, you can see again cases like twitter where uh, you know all your uh, followers uh, are recommended so you may follow this this user you may follow that is and so on and so forth this is also a link prediction problem but in a directed network um uh, it often times also suggest pages right say for example a story or a news article that you might be interested in right you may see in in your social media social network feed that often times some news news article links pop up and you are absolutely uncertain that why suddenly this has this has arrived right and sometimes it also happens that at least in my case is that you know uh, you know things that are recommended are completely uh, unusual right uh, 
say for example you know some uh, some days back you know i was talking about some some sort of uh, you know bengali sweets right so i was just chatting with my wife and suddenly when when i opened the uh, facebook feed i i saw uh, uh, the, the the advertisement of the same sweet right now i don't know whether things are being recorded or not but in general uh, you know this social media pages always try to uh, try to recommend uh, recommend you with items or products or news feeds which are relevant to you right this is also link prediction because if you think of web as a whole social network is a part of the web then you have uh, news articles right um, blogs uh, other online ad advertisements and ultimately the task is to link between user and that item right user user and advertisement user and news feed uh, right news article blogs okay but in a heterogeneous network setting e-commerce of course when you look at uh, platforms like say uh, amazon or flipkart products are being recommended to you right and uh, we have discussed already briefly that how this recommendation engine works right uh, once you know the community structure clusters and once you know that within a community these uh, the other nodes have already showed interest to uh, uh, on 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 these products it is highly likely that you will also be interested to uh, buy this product right so recommendation system is essentially a link prediction uh, link prediction problem right of course in in case of law enforcement agency police military uh, identifying hidden groups hidden um, identities hidden links right um, uh, spot criminals these also come under the, uh, the 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 broad purview of link prediction sometimes what criminals do criminals try to um, you know hide their identities they do not interact with each other quite frequently so that so that i mean if if they interact with each other frequently their call may be trapped their uh, interactions may be trapped so therefore they tend to hide themselves right they 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 tend to avoid in, in interactions in an uh, in 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 a, in a in a in a frequent manner right now, now how do we predict such interactions when there is less history right so you can use link prediction for that in biological network particularly protein protein interaction network can we predict that these two types of uh, proteins will be inter will will interact in future so in history if you look at the history there is no such no such evidence or less evidence about the interactions of proteins and uh, and uh, and no one knows like uh, in 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 the future possibly some new proteins or now new 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 entities uh, might be might 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 start interacting okay in case of network reconstruction right um, say when we uh, when we scrapes uh, data from social network what happens is that we generally you know we generally uh, are unable to scrape all sorts of data sets right say for example when you scrape twitter twitter only allows you to scrape say 1% or 0.5% of the data right now your data will be incomplete right now it may not be recommended to design an algorithm on an incomplete data set so then what you would do you try to complete it you try to complete the uh, network as much as possible so you uh, you know before running your algorithm you want to run a link prediction algorithm and want to predict the links which might have been missed right while uh, scraping the data set right so you may want to run link prediction algorithms try to make the network complete as much as you can and then you run your favorite algorithm say clustering algorithm or other uh, say anomaly detection algorithms and so on citation network uh, particularly in collaboration network it is helpful because uh, say for example there is a um, researcher researcher collaboration right uh, if you predict that okay these two researchers are going to collaborate in future you can also suggest you can also recommend the user uh, the the researcher we set up other researchers that he or she might be interested in collaborating okay so in future uh, research collaboration link prediction can can be used you know uh, massively now let's look at the 
uh, let's try to understand these two problems. So one is called link prediction, one is called missing link prediction, and other is called future link prediction. Okay, so missing link prediction, and other is future link prediction. Apparently, they may sound alike, right? But there is a very small, you know, very tiny difference between these two problems, okay? Missing link predictions. Basically, it says that you are given a static network. You are given a static network, okay? And in the static network, due to crawling problem, due to privacy issue, you may not, you may not be, you, you, uh, you know, you may have missed, you may, may have missed out some of the edges. Okay, in the static network, can we can we try to complete the network by predicting the missing edges? It mostly it is related to static network. Given a network, you predict the edges which should have come, but due to some problems, crawling problem or network construction problem, they have they have uh, not been you know added. Future link prediction deals with temporal network. Okay, so the idea is that you have a graph till time t. Okay, can we predict whether a pair of nodes x, y are going to be connected at t plus delta t time period? Okay, this delta t time period, this slack, right, this window, you don't have any idea about. Okay, you only you are only given a network till time t. You may have snaps. You 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 may have also been given snapshots of networks, say at time 0, time 1, time 2, time 3, dot, 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 time t. And your predict, your, your prediction would be uh, what would be the, uh, you know, uh, which, which pairs are going to be connected at t plus 1, right? This is future link prediction. We need to look at the time temporal dimension very carefully. Oftentimes, when when we do research on link prediction, we kind of you know mix and match these two things together. But that 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 should not that should not happen. That that should be avoided. Okay. So now let's look at the temporal changes in a network. So there can be five possibilities when you look at the temporal evolution. There can be five possibilities. So you are given a network at time t zero. So in case one new nodes are added, but, but they do not form any link, just nodes are added. This is case one. Okay. So at time t1, this new node d is added, and but, but, but there is no new edge. Right? This is case one. What is case two? New nodes join, and they also form new connections. This is case two. d has joined, and d has formed two connections with c and with a. Case 3, no new nodes join, some new edges are formed, this is case 3, no new node but B and C are now connected. Case 4, some existing edges are removed, this is case 4, earlier there was an edge between A and B, now there is no edge between A and B. Okay? So edges are being removed and case 5, some existing nodes and edges are also being removed. You see here B is being removed, therefore this edge is also being removed, right? So you, you have only A and C. These are five possible cases, right? But when we talk about link prediction, we'll only focus on this part. In fact, this part also, right? So, in fact, most of the times we actually focus on this part because we assume that the set of nodes is fixed. Okay? We try to predict whether uh, within the existing nodes, which edges are being, uh, which edges will, uh, will be formed in the future. Okay? So, in the remaining part of the chapters, we will only focus on this scenario, case 3. Now, this is, this is kind of a drawback. I mean, you may wonder why we don't want to make it generic, why don't we also 
uh, predict that which node is going uh, which node is going to going to be going to join that's not possible right at time t standing at time t how do you know that which node is going to be going to be joining right but of course deletion link deletion prediction is an important problem which which is not there in the literature so that can be a good research topic right to study so now let us define link prediction formally given a snapshot given a following snapshots of a network g t0 v comma e t0 is at at a particular time t uh, particular time t0 and we want to predict and and you are also given another uh, snapshot g t i v e d v e dash look at the difference t0 and t i t i is greater than t0 meaning this is the later snapshot this is the earlier snapshot set of vertices is same v and v but set of edges the are different okay this is e this is e dash so what's the task the task is to predict e dash minus e edges okay so you are given this one you want to predict e dash minus e edges which are going to be generated right to create this snapshot gti this is the task okay so alternatively the problem of link prediction can also be coined as the task of determining determining the likelihood that two nodes that are not connected at t0 are going to be connected at ti essentially we are doing this thing we are given a pair of nodes which are not connected at t0 t your task could be to predict whether these two whether this pair of nodes will be connected at ti okay now think of the nature of this problem right say there are let's take a small network there are say 100 nodes right how many pairs of nodes are there there are 100 c2 pairs right and generally order of mod v is order of mod e in a large network so you can expect that approximately 100 edges are there in the network so out of these many edges only 100 edges are present right at time t0 so the remaining node pairs are not connected at time t0 but some of them will be connected at ti so from these many pairs you need to predict how many of them will be formed how, how many of them will be connected say only 1% or 0.5% will be connected in the future right now think of the sampling think of the negative sample and positive sample you have this many number of positive samples and you have this many number of negative samples a huge imbalance problem right and out of so many negative samples right so many unpaired so many unconnected uh, disconnected pairs of nodes right how many of them will be connected in order to predict this this is essentially you know finding needles in the haystack isn't it so you have a huge population and from that your task is to identify small small things which is really difficult okay we will discuss about it uh, later so in the in the next lecture uh, let's stop here in the next lecture we will discuss the evaluation uh, process right before moving into the algorithmic part we'll discuss the evaluation process and uh, we'll see the com we will see you know the major challenges in link prediction you know uh, problem in general okay thank you mm -hmm.